Hello guys and welcome back. So today is a day. Let's talk about Jessica. Welcome to the Jessica guide. So in today's video, we're going to talk about everything to, to know about Jessica, how to build Jessica, what to build Jessica as, and everything you might want to know if you decided to pick up the character, right? If you're watching the video, you probably decided to pick up the, the character, right? Or at least check if she's worth pulling. There is a video about worth pulling, a uh, dedicated video, so go check that out if you want to know that only. But if you want to know what Jessica does and how to play her correctly, uh, this is the video for you. Now, First of all, let's go ahead and address what she is, right? So she is a plant DPS, the second plant DPS, because the first one is Druvis, but Druvis is from standard banner, so not everybody has her, which means that now you have your chance to get your hands on a plant DPS and focus and get her. On top of that, she is the enabler for the poison team, which is a new thing and, and starts with her release, right? Now, we already had uh, Sotheby, but not everybody has her, and we'll talk about just that, that in just a second, but with Jessica, now you are able to do the poison team, right? Now, before we actually talk about that, let's go ahead and analyze what she does. She has the ult, which is the gaze from the forest. It's a mass attack, deals 350% reality damage and inflicts poison on all enemies for two rounds. Now, uh, just as a reminder, the poison is uh, negative status and applies dam Genesis damage, which transcends uh, the enemy's defenses equals to 30% of whoever applied it. So in this case, it's 30% of Jessica's attack. For, for Sotheby, it would be 30% of Sotheby's attack. So keep that in mind for later. Now, the skill is the White Blanky. This is the main event, the main skill that Jessica really wants to deal damage with. And you want to uh, do as, as much setup as possible to deal as much damage with White Blanky as possible. As you can see, the White Blanky deals an instance of reality damage that goes from 180 to 450, which is really, really high for a skill, with, by default, uh, plus if the enemy is suffering one, two, or three stacks of poison, you get 150, 50 more Genesis um, reality damage from these two stacks. So the first stacks deals 100% reality damage on top of the 450, plus from that point on, every extra stacks to a maximum of 3 is going to apply 50 more percent reality damage, which means that you can get a total of 650 percent reality damage on White Blanket. Now, Good Friends is an also not nothing to laugh at, which is an AoE, it's a, it's a mass attack, two enemies, up to 335 percent damage, and if they uh, have any negative status, status control, or control, you deal a little more damage, which, which is uh, actually pretty good, and becomes a 410% mass attack on uh, level 3 good friends, right? So, damage from Jessica is really, really high. The damage from Jessica uh, scales with the application of poison, right? With uh, how many stacks of poison th the enemy has on them. So, what you want to do by default, by just reading the kit, you want to, you immediately think, I want to have as many poison stacks as possible. Can Jessica do it alone? No, she can apply one stack of poison reliably, but even at P2 and an I3, she still struggles applying more than one at any point. So what you want to do is focus on the team composition. But before that, how does she actually apply the poison, right? She applies the poison through her insight. The first insight one says that when you attack an enemy afflicted with poison, the damage dealt increases by 20%, so that's a 20% increase damage regardless. On top of that, the at the start of the battle, at once every three rounds, so from one, three, six, nine, she inflicts poison on all enemies for two rounds, inflicting Genesis damage equals to 30%, uh, we know that. Now, the thing about this here to, um, to remind, like I want to remind you that round one doesn't scale down the doesn't count for the poison round scale down. So if you have a poison stack that has three rounds left or two rounds left or round one, round two is still gonna be two rounds left, right? So round one is special. You get applied the poison, 
but you don't uh, scale down the duration yet. The scale down is going to start from round two. I have a very dedicated video about that, uh, which I will link in the description or you will see, um, uh, I think there, a card popping up. So you can check that one to check the actual uh, poison uptime and when which stacks falls off depending on p0 and p2 as well so uh, for now let's go ahead and continue now inside two just gives you the usual damage and inside three is basically uh, an extra mechanic that makes it so when you attack a monster that is not poison yet you apply poison for two rounds uh, this usually is um, useful when you are fighting an encounter that has reinforcement so the reinforcement not being uh, applied with poison because it wasn't in on the on the field when you applied it now you can take care of that by doing any damage any sort of damage with uh with jessica and now he, he becomes poisoned as well now the timing is going to be different so keep that in mind but he will get poisoned uh, thanks to your i3 now the portrait the best portrait are i would say p2 and the rest is just higher, uh, a higher percentage of damage. It's not that big of a deal. For example, the white blanket empowerment on uh, level three on P3 is just 50%. So you don't feel obliged to get more copies because it doesn't really change anything. Also, P2 yes gives you more poison, so you have um, a more poison uh, duration. So you have a, a longer duration. Uh, you have more stacks lingering. But even then, you cannot have three stacks of poison reliably uh, with Jessica alone, right? So the, feel free to pull as many copies as you want if you want to gather to uh, s some levels of power, higher levels of power be besides the P0. But in my opinion, the portraits are not that impo as important as you might think or as they might sound because you don't, you're not really getting that much power. And on top of that, you are supposed, supposed to play Jessica with other characters. We'll check in a second. So, in that case, you really don't want to care about those, right? It's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. But the best portrait is level at least the P2, and maybe P3 for the white blanket, higher damage. Now, it's not that big of a deal, but it is what it is. Now, first of all, uh, before we talk about the side tube that you can... Before we actually talk about them, let's talk about the team, because, because that's important for the side tube. The team that you want to run Jessica with is Jessica, free slot for a support or a debuff or whatever you want, and Sotheby. That's the that's the dream team because Sotheby is a healer, is a healer, and she applies poison, right? So she applies poison and take care of the healing part. Now she is a little bit janky, a little bit weird on the poison application. If you need to pre-apply the poison cure, the uh, the healing cure. Uh, so it triggers next time but she is she is a healer now if you don't have sotheby now you can do uh, some sort of rearranged team and you can do jessica rabies any healer so rabies is a um, character that probably everybody has it's a foresight i believe what's important is there is i1 that makes it so when he's attacking an enemy he applies once one round of poison now that means that it, now it would be easier to have two or three stacks of poison by combining jessica's i1 ult and rabies attack to do a nice setup that brings you even without Sotheby at three stacks and then you can conclude it with a big nuke with white blanket that's a good um, it's a, one of the good options that you can do as a free to play and you j just have Jessica if you don't want to do the rabies uh, strat then you can wait just a little bit because on the next patch 1.3 on uh, the first phase on Shaman's banner we're gonna get a new five star which is called Kanjira and Kanjira is um, also applies poison with one or her card which is called Hey Punji she applies poison and with her card you will be able to do the same thing as Rabies right uh, a little bit better because she's a five star she does more damage a little more damage she also has other uh, other uh, parts of her kit that does other things but when it comes to poison uptime and application uh, she can be used with Jessica to complete the poison team the best poison team is Jessica and Sotheby uh, because that one take takes care of the the healing part of the of the team and the poison uptime at that point you can you can put 
any support in it, such as uh, Beacon Bloom or anyone else that you might have, to get even more damage. Now, if you have two more or more stacks of poison, you don't really have to care. But if you only have one stack of stack of poison, now you really want to have someone that applies another negative status, such as Beacon Bloom, for example. Uh, why? Because you, if you are running uh, the side tube. And now we're talking about the side tube. If you're running the side tube Blasphemer of Night, you want to have two negative status when you are attacking to get the benefits from the, uh, the side tube effect, right? So if you don't want to miss some damage, you really want to have at least two stack of poison or two negative status in general. So poison counts as one, and then uh, one of the Beacon Bloom de debuffs applies also, uh, counts as a negative status, so you can use Beacon Bloom to deal more damage. Now, so Jessica is not completely flexible i would i wouldn't say Fle jessica is flexible at all you only want to use jessica with her team and if you don't have her team or if you uh, don't want to use jessica or you have the team and you want to put jessica somewhere else you really really that it's you can't, let's say. You can, but it's gonna be very, very scuffed, very weird. Uh, you're gonna have poison lingering. She's gonna deal uh, mid damage. Well, not mid damage, but it's gonna. She's gonna lose a lot of damage. She's gonna lose like a 100% minimum uh, DPS uh, because she's the, she's gonna have to solo sustain at that point, right? So I wouldn't say that Jessica is necessarily flexible, but. You don't want to be flexible, right? Because you are building a plant team and you will use her only with the plant team. So why would you use anyone else? That said, feel free to do whatever you want, but in my opinion, she's not flexible. Now, when it comes to resonance, what resonance you, should you run with Jessica? In my opinion, you kind of you don't really need critting about crit. You don't you don't need to crit at all. In my opinion, the more attack you have, the better it is. I'm not a theory crafter, uh, so this might be mathematically wrong. But in my opinion, like to me, I feel like having higher poison damage it might might be a good idea on top of just dealing more damage in general, reliably, instead of uh, having to crit. Uh, because like you also have a lot of poison, right? If you're running uh for example, Jessica and Sotheby and Beacon Bloom, you have a lot of poison there, right? You have like three, four, five, even six, even six stacks sometimes. So having high poison, because high poison scales with the 30% of uh, whoever the, the casters attack, right? The, the applier attack. So if the, po the poison applies by, applied by Jessica is... Uh, gonna deal more damage the more attack you have on top of every other skill that she has so i feel like i since you also you're also running sotheby i don't think the critical the critical um, resonance will do anything for jessica so just go for the classic attack and you will be blasting without any problem okay so i don't think there is anything else to say uh, she's not super flexible, so those are the teams that I would personally run her with. The side tube, if you don't want to use Blasphemer of the Night, you could use uh, Yearning Desire, that, which is easier to trigger, and up even, even better if you are solo sustaining, trying to solo sustain with Jessica alone, or you could use hopscotch right or bnw at that point we go we, we scale back down to the to the classics of side tube the good the good ones that are always good for every character so uh besides that i don't think there's anything else anything else that i can say uh let me know if you want to know if you have other questions about it so for now that's it thank you for watching good luck on your jessica pulls and if you want to pull on stream come on stream and ask me and then hold on your pulls and then we'll uh, we'll do it on stream okay uh, it's gonna be fun and i'm gonna get my 59 jessicas in temples so thank you for watching and see you next time